I think if, if I'm being hired by a court system or an organization to uh, say a community-based organization, I've done a number of these training programs, uh, and I try to try to tie the training of mediators to when, my, when the program is done, are you going to be mediating cases? And I want that connection close rather than just sort of a freestanding come here for, for a training program. Mm -hmm. um, in particularly in those kinds of contexts, I think it's incumbent upon a trainer to choose an approach to mediation, be transparent about it with the class. Here's, here's the framework I'm proposing. I think it's important along the way to identify how a different approach to mediation might differ. Um, but um, if I am going to presume that if a community-based program or a court or a school system wanted a different approach at the post office, they would have hired somebody committed to that approach rather than to the mm -hmm. courts of mm -hmm. I, I would not. So you so actually I, prefer in some ways that, that, that the trainer take a particular approach? I think I think it's more helpful for the training mm -hmm. uh, in terms of clarity 